Hi, this is Asuka Gori. In this video, I'll show you how to create disk partitions using the partit command in both interactive and non-interactive modes. For demonstration, I'll use my CentOS 7 system. However, the partit program works pretty much identically on other popular Linux distributions and their spin-offs as well. Also for demonstration, I have already allocated a 500 megabyte disk to my Linux system. The procedure presented in this video applies equally to both physical and virtual Linux systems. The partit command is used to create and manipulate disk partitions on a Linux system. This program may be invoked in both interactive and non-interactive modes. I'll show you examples of both. Let's first find the disk that is available for us to work with using the lsblk command. The lsblk program is a simple command that shows a list of all the block devices on the system their sizes, partitioning status, etc. Let's run it. sudo lsblk and here's a list of all the devices that are currently available. sda is our boot disk so we're not going to touch it. sdb is the disk that I allocated. It is 512 megabytes in size and there are no partitions on this disk at the moment. It's a brand new disk. Let's invoke partit and specify the sdb disk path. sudo partit slash dev slash sdb. We can run the help subcommand here to list all available subcommands with a short description of what each one of them does. Different subcommands available here align check, help, mk label, mk part. mk label is to apply a label to a brand new disk, mkpart is to create partitions on the disk, print is to view the partitioning information and quit is to exit out of the program. The rm subcommand can be used to remove a partition from the disk and there are other subcommands as well. Now assuming sdb is a brand new disk, we first need to apply a label to it. I'll use the label type msdos. Let's run the mklabel command mklabel New disk label type ms dos it's done. We can run the print subcommand to view the status. And here it shows that the disk model is ATA virtual box hard disk SCSI 537 megabytes in size. This is the device path and this is the partition table type. And as you can see here, this line is empty. There is nothing under the header here which means there are no partitions on this disk at the moment. Now let's use the mkpart command to create a partition on this disk. Type of partition, since this is the first partition, so let's use the primary partition type. File system type ext2, select the default, doesn't matter here. Start, let's select one to start the partition at one megabyte and the partition size 100, 100 megabyte partition. This partition is created. We can double check with the print subcommand. And as you can see here, this is partition number one. A start point is one megabyte. 100 megabytes is the size of it. And this is a, a primary partition. After the partition has been created, we can use the quit command to exit out of the parted tool. Now let's run the lsblk command once again to view the status of the disk. sdb disk, 512 megabytes in size and here is the partition that we just created, 94 megabytes and the name of the partition is sdb1. Now I'll show you how to use the partit command in a non-interactive mode. Here you go. So let's create a new partition called sdb2 on the same disk with size 200 megabytes. So we run this command sudo partit and then we specify the device path to the disk slash dev slash sdb and then we specify mk part command another primary partition is start at 101 megabytes and we want this partition to end at 301 megabytes. 
a 200 megabyte partition. The partition is created and we can invoke the parted command once again on the slash dev slash sdb disk with the print subcommand. And it shows us the updated information. Here is the second partition we just created. It's starting at 101 megabyte right after where the first partition is ending. And this is 200 megabyte partition, primary partition, partition number two. And that's how we use the command non interactively. To delete the partitions, we can invoke the parted command in interactive mode or we can execute it directly from the command prompt sudo parted slash dev slash sd b r m is the remove command and we want to remove partition number one from the disk and there you go the partition is deleted we can verify with the print subcommand again and as you can see the partition has been deleted let's remove the second partition as well to clean the disk and there you go there is nothing on the disk. And that's a wrap for this video. Try the examples I've presented on your Linux systems. Try them on all three popular distributions, CentOS, Ubuntu, and OpenSUSE. For additional information, don't forget to check out the manual pages of the parted command as well as the lsblk command. Here's a list of all the free videos on Linux that I've created for you. These videos complement my books on Linux to understand Linux from scratch to an advanced level and at the same time help you get ready for Linux certification exams such as RHCSA, RHCE, CompTIA, Linux Plus, LPIC1, LFCS and LFCE. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, provide your comments below and share it with your friends and colleagues. Please subscribe to my channel to be among the first to get notifications of my new upcoming videos. Thank you for your time.